Welcome back YouTube, welcome to Keynote Comics, the place where you can discover comic book and comic book related content. Now look, we've been asked so many times, what are some of the things that we do with our comic book collection? What are some of the products that we use and how do we store them? So today we're gonna to be doing a review of the BCW plastic short bin. Now, as you can see, fairly solid plastic, which is far more sturdier than your standard short bin that is made out of paper. Over time, those paper boxes will definitely start to erode and they start becoming flimsy. This solid plastic is gonna be a lot more sturdier and is gonna be able to hold and withstand the test of time. As long as you're not doing anything ridiculous with it, like trying to just slam it on the pavement like it's a football. Now, it consists of five pieces, two long side panels, left and right, and then two shorter panels, front and back, along with the bottom, and you don't have to worry about the top because it is connected to the two side panels. So what you have here is an example of the smaller standard short bin that stores regular raw comics. And then next to it is the one for the slab comics, the slab box, which can actually hold up to 30 slabs, which is awesome. I don't know about you guys, but that's actually the exact number of slabs I have. So it actually worked out in my favor, but I do plan on getting more because we're gonna be getting more book slab. So without further ado, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of putting these boxes together. It's not hard, it's actually very simple and you might not even need the instructions at all. Just seeing this video alone will help you put it together. Now what you're gonna do is take either one of the front plates or the back plates, and then you're gonna connect them with one of the side plates. So once you have it, it should look just like this. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that there are grooves at the very bottom where the bottom piece is gonna connect. So you're gonna know whether or not you have it the right way. After that, you're gonna take the other side panel and you're gonna connect it to the front or back plate. So after that, your box should look just like this. Take the bottom plate, and you're gonna slide it through all the way to the back. Now I'm gonna turn this around because it's gonna be a lot easier for me to put it together that way. But on the bottom plate, there is these grooves that are gonna to connect to both side plates where you're gonna be able to lock it in. Then you're gonna finish it off, of course, with this last front or back plate, whatever you want to decide it to be. All right, and that's it. one BCW bin put together, ready to go. Now, one of the cool features is the way these things lock in. So they have these nice little levers here that you can push in and out to lock them in. And one of the things we also like is that they have these nice little features right here that allow you to easily stack and secure other boxes that you get. So put them on top of each other. The only interesting part is that it doesn't really fit together with the design of the bigger box for the slabs. And we did think that that would be a feature that they should try to work on and do just in case someone just has, you know, a one big box and one short box. And you can honestly just put it together. And then if the grooves were somewhat within the centerpiece, a little bit closer, that way the mini box can sit on top of it. And then you can have the same thing featured on the bottom of the boxes as well. That way, if it's a bigger box, you can still put it on there with no problem. 
So one of the other features that both bins actually come with is a partition that allows you to separate your books with inside. I don't really use it that much, but it is a nice feature to have just in case there are certain, you know, if you have a small collection and you want to separate them that way. These boxes typically go for around 20 or $30. Now that is a bit pricey when you think about the number of books you may potentially have, and it's gonna add up. So that's why I say to leave these boxes specifically for your higher grade books or key books that you want to really take care of. Leave the other books to the, you know, the paper boxes because that way, it's not gonna be as costly. But nevertheless, it's not something that you're going to leave disappointed with. It's a great product to have for those books. But that is it guys. As usual, like, subscribe, and keep us locked in. Peace.